Hey guys, Michael from Car Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering Alpha Austrian's bow, Hunt's rule, and Pauli's solution principle. We'll be talking about what these are, what it looks like when the rules are followed, and what it looks like when these rules are broken. So let's start with Alpha's principle. So Alpha principle, also called the building up principle, it states that you have to fill in lower energy orbitals before you fill in higher energy level orbitals. You know, like when you do electric right, electric configuration, it goes 1s2, 2s2. 2p6, you, you see how you fill lower ones before higher ones, or when we look at an energy diagram, it goes like you have to fill these lower ones before you, you fill the higher ones. So that this would be following off boss principle. A violation of off-ball principle would be if you went from 1s and 2s and then suddenly jumped to 3p and then also to, to, to 3d. So pretty much you just have to fill lower ones before you fill higher ones. And the way you can remember off ball principle is that it starts with an A. So just think of the Alphabet starts with A, so you begin from you start from the beginning and then you you move on. So you start from the lowest and then you, you build up. All right, next Hund's rule. Hund's rule states that you have to place one electron in each degenerate orbital before adding a second one. So degenerate orbitals just means that orbitals are that have the same energy and those are the p's, the d's, and the f orbitals. So you have to put one orbital in each before you put the second. So after we fill in the 1s and 2s to fill in the 2p, we go one. 1, 1, and then 2, 2, 2, if there are 6 electrons in the P, or if there are 5 electrons in the P, it'll look like that. So this would be following Hun's rule. So violation of Hun's rule would, would have been if we went uh, 1, 2, 1, 2. So you have to put 1 in each before you put the second, and that is what Hun's rule states. So the way you, uh, I remember Hun's rule is when you write an H, you, you go 1, 1, that's how, that's how I write a HLE. You go put one over here, one over here. So I just remember one, 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 two, two, two. All right, next one, Pauli exclusion principle. The Pauli exclusion principle states that no two electrons can have the same four quantum numbers, which translate to that electrons in the same orbital, they must have opposite spins. So if we were to follow the Pauli exclusion principle, if we, when we add the second electron in the, the this p orbital, since this electron's going, going up or or spinning in this direction, then the other electron must be a down arrow and be spinning in the opposite direction. So that would be falling Pauli exclusion principle. A violation of Pauli exclusion principle is when you have two of the same spin, two electrons of the same spin in the orbital. So if we had up, up, that would be a violation, or down, down, that would be a violation. And also for elect, for quantum numbers, they, you just have to have four di different quantum numbers. For So for example, we have uh, n equals n equals 4, L equals 2, S equals, or M equals 1, and then S equals 1 half. If one electron has these four quantum numbers, no other electrons can have the same four quantum numbers. We'll cover quantum numbers in a future video. So that's, uh, those are what Oppa principle, Hunt's rule, and Pauli exclusion principle are. Hopefully that video made, help help clarify these concepts and it, make it made it easy under, to understand. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.